searching for the good in our neighborhoods and each other. Not just finding what's wrong, but what's right. A true reflection of Cincinnati. Find the good in your mornings. Good morning, Tri-State. This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories at this hour. Crews are still searching for two trapped contractors in Adams County. Jamie Fitzgerald and Doug Gray were inside the old kill and generating station when it collapsed Wednesday. Crews have been on that scene nonstop since. And even though this is now considered a recovery mission, their loved ones are not giving up hope. We have not <laughs> lost faith and we don't need anybody else out there to lose faith. We need them to pray, get down on your knees. It is still unclear how that building collapsed. OSHA is investigating to see if anyone violated procedures that could have prevented this. An 18 year old has died after a shooting in Avondale. Police say they found Serrano Foster with a gunshot wound in a car on Canyon Drive today. He was pronounced dead at that scene. If you have any information police want to hear from you, give them a call. Two Cincinnati museums are temporarily closed now. The Taft Museum of Art and the Contemporary Art Center shut their doors today. Both say the closures are due to COVID-19 concerns in our area. Taft visitors, though, can view special exhibitions and its permanent collection online. But neither museum has set a reopening date. And temperatures have fallen throughout the day across the tri-state. Here's meteorologist Sherry Hughes. Yeah, Evan, we were 20 degrees above normal today before the cold front and the rain came through. In fact, our high got up to 62, but as we go through the overnight, we'll see some lingering clouds, maybe even a slight chance of a uh, passing shower, leftover shower into the overnight with those temperatures falling at around 38 degrees. For your Sunday, it looks to be a mostly cloudy day, not as windy, of course. The winds will uh, decrease dramatically and our, our temperatures will only be in the low 40s. That's seasonal for us, but by Sunday night, we're tracking yet some more showers and maybe even a little wintry mix in the overnight.